G'day everyone, it's me again. It's a nice uh, sunny day in Berlin and things are winding down so I thought I'd bring the bike out and, and show you guys what I've been riding for the summer. This is a B1 Alux 7005 T6, whatever that means. It's an aluminium bike, uh, a cross cycle, so it's sort of halfway between a, a road bike and halfway between a mountain bike. But uh, no, no suspension or anything like that. It's uh, been a pretty solid workhorse. So on the wheels we've got a 700Cs, aka ISO 622s, aka 28 inch is what they, they call it colloquially. Very durable tyres, very good grip. I've gone inclines like 20 degrees plus, just fine. With the handlebars I went with straight bars and bar ends. You can do drop bars as well, but I, liked, uh, I like to carry around a lot of weight on the front, so went with that. And the seat is just stock. I get a lot of weird looks for the seat. This, the rear is just all stock. So I've got a stock uh, Dutch rear bike lock, which attaches to the frame. It's super useful. And the rack is just standard. And I got yeah, some, some comments from bike store owners about that as well. The, the gears are stock Shimano 21 speed. They're actually getting pretty rare these days. And sometimes the bike stores are like, we don't actually have 21 speed anymore, but they're still really good. And the clips are mountain bike, which I highly recommend. Definitely, it's so versatile having a having just mountain bike clips and being able to wear mountain bike shoes everywhere. So that's it. Really nice bike. I picked it up for about 300 bucks. If you want to spend more, there's a version with like a carbon fork on the front, and that'll set you back like a thousand bucks. And I think it's about 500 grams saving in weight the bike is probably around the 11 kilo mark or something like that not not light by by bike standards for sure but but really good for for my tasks fully loaded it's probably about i'd probably say about 25 to 30 kilograms and at that at that point the frame starts to flex quite a lot and things like tire pressure comes into play because your tires are, are basically just turning into suspension at that point. It's been really really solid. Just the just the one flat tire through the uh, through the three and a half thousand k's or so. Did a lot of um, flat cycling on the road, you know, um, in the Netherlands, doing about doing between 100 and 120 k's as, as a nice you know day sort of thing. And then uh, in the mountains in in Belgium and Luxembourg, you, you'd do maybe 75 to 85 kilometers through the Ardennes. And that might be anywhere between like 1,200 and, and 1,600 meters of um, meters of elevation. But it's a it's a great bike. It's not the best. It's it's not it's not the best at any one thing, but it does everything really well. So whenever I'm on the on the road, super comfortable, and I can just go for all day. I spend six or seven hours a day, usually uh, when I'm on the bike, and I'll hit uh, dirt roads and stuff like that as well. Some there's some really poor quality roads, especially in Belgium, and and some in Germany too. If you choose to go off the the main car roads, and and it performs perfectly. I've had mud up to the up to the hubs on the wheels so yeah pretty pretty deep in mud and, and managed to get the bike out and yeah absolutely fantastic I'm bringing it back to Oz because uh, I just love the bike too much and I'll probably you know change the change the wheels into something a little bit more road friendly because I don't think I'll be doing any off-road stuff in Oz lots it's lots of paved stuff from what I can tell out there but yeah, really looking forward to, to trying it out in Oz and for going head to head against my brother who has a full on, you know, carbon giant road bike thingy. That, that'll be interesting, but I, I definitely look forward to it. So that's it. That's my bike. And if you're, if you're looking for a, a kind of what to do, if you want to go cycle touring, I can definitely recommend it. If you just go into Amsterdam, you go to a few secondhand stores ask for a just ask for a bike that they think will take you across Europe and they'll usually 
well, the guy that I met, he just sorted me out. He just said, hey, you can do it with this. I've, I've known three or four people who have taken a bike like this and cycled all the way to the Mediterranean. And it's been, it's been really good. Well, that's it. I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.